The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out with the German DAX like we usually do. And then we're going to quickly move over to the uh, gold market because we had several requests here. Uh, you can see here in the German DAX that we had a little bit of a rally. We're back up against that 786 percent retracement again uh, the pattern has completed the $64 question is do we break out to the upside or head back down again we won't know the answer to that of course until tomorrow but we are at pretty significant resistance up here near the highs today in the uh, in the German DAX so uh, you, you can see over the past uh, on this hourly chart you can see we've been there one two three four times over the past month so it's a very significant one you know, to uh, pay very, very close attention to, at least from uh, our opinion. So let's remember that. You'll remember, folks, we were looking at gold uh, last week, uh, you know, to come up to have a little bit of rally up into that uh, possible 382 level where the big ABCD level was hanging right there. And this is really important, folks, where we are here in the gold. I'll update it in just a second, but let's talk about this for just a moment because it, it really is important. You'll see the 1.618 expansion uh, during February. We went down from the 38th, uh, 30, 38th of January. Hello, everybody. Uh, we went from the 31st of January down into February the 13th. Then we had the 1.618 expansion to the upside. Uh, absolutely perfectly. You can see the bottom was made at a 1.618 expansion to the downside. And now we're working on this ABCD pattern that we talked about here. Notice that thick black line there, folks. That's very important. And the reason for that is that it's not only going to be an ABCD pattern, but it is also going to be into that resistance level that we had. That level comes in at 1311. That's where the ABCD pattern finally lines up uh, the way that uh, it looks like it should. Now, whether that's going, well, we already know that it's happened. So let's just see where we are uh, this morning because uh, let's get it up here. It'll give us a pretty good idea of where we stand. Okay, here's where we are up to date now. You can see the dark black line. We have completed the ABCD pattern. I didn't draw it in on this chart because I want you to think for yourself to see where you are, but this is what we're looking at. You'll notice that the downtrend line that we have there today is very, very important for three different reasons. First reason, it's a cycle low of uh, uh, 19 periods, which is basically a three and a half day cycle in gold. You can see the lows that were made there. And we had the three and a half day cycle low on the 11th. And here we are uh, on the 14th, which is Pi Day. We'll talk about that a little later. But where we landed this morning down at 1296, that tells us that we are right at uh, the 61% retracement of the low that we made back on the 11th. And we're right at the 382 retracement of the low that we made back on the 7th. So we have two major numbers hanging in there. In addition to that, the high uh, yesterday was at uh, 311. And now we've come down to uh, 396. So that's 411. That's 15. That's only $2 away from the harmonic number in gold. So the key here is very simple. Below 1293, folks, this is not going to look very good. So if we break below 1293 in the gold, we would expect it to start to come down. Now, if you look at this longer term, remember with that ABCD pattern that we had put in there between the 7th and yesterday, the 14th or the 13th, that was exactly a 382 retracement from the high. That sets up a potential for an A, B, C, D to the downside, and that takes you all the way down to 1250 an ounce. You know, that's uh, another uh, 48 bucks from where we are right now. And uh, so this is the key. To me, the 1290 level is very, very important. Below that, uh, well, 1291, anything below that tells us that we're most probably getting ready to have a 
pretty significant uh, reaction to the downside. So this ABCD pattern at the 382 with all of that stuff that was occurring uh, means a very, very, it's just, it's just incredibly important, folks. I want to highlight that ABCD pattern again because it is that important. <laughs> all righty. Okay, they're quoting uh, Sir John Templeton saying the four most important words in adventure in an investing is it's different this time. That's probably true in all of life, I guess, David. But well, let's take a look at this uh, chart one more time. There's the ABCD pattern, 382. So that's what we're going to look at. Now, because today is Pi Day, Pi Day is 3.14. We're going to talk about Pi just a little bit here. This is... Uh, this is from our good friend down in uh, Queensland, Australia, where the master of uh, sacred geometry is Mr. Bryce Gilmore. This book came out, This the chart from this book came out in uh, 1970, at the same time that the uh, found a, uh, the uh, Profit Magic of Stock Transaction timing book by James Hurst came out. This book was the Thrust Method of Stock Market Analysis by William Garrett. They were both engineers. They were both published by the same uh, company. And uh, the uh, Profit Magic book was $8.95. The Thrust book was $29.95. So they didn't sell very many. Mrs. Garrett, who I met many years later, said they sold less than 200 copies and all the rest were destroyed. I found this rare book back in 1983. I had it in my library. And uh, one day I happened to look at this chart right here. And what this is very important because uh, you, know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. But let me explain to you. Let's, oh, we got to get the, uh, we got to get it so we can see pi a little bit better, can't we? There we go. Uh, you can see the top level of this uh, structure where you have the square, the ellipses, and the circles. The top of that is pi, 3.4. One four. Now the market expands by using 0.618. You'll see it there on the bottom, uh, to 1.618 to 2.618, and then out to pi. When when you're looking at the, the chambered Nautilus, folks, you remember that little ammonite that we talk about once in a while that looks like the uh, like the spiral mirabilis. Well, at the end of that spiral mirabilis is what pi is. And what you're doing as a pattern recognition swing trader, you're trying to find where you are along this. Uh, procession of cycles and expansions and contractions. That's really the, the theory behind what you're doing. It takes a little time to do it, of course, but that's what you're watching. So today is Pi Day, 3.14, and it happens every year. Thanks a lot, David. I forgot all about it, but uh, always a big deal to remember the, some of these things that we're, we're looking at. We're going to have a break here in just a minute. And then when we get back, we want to talk a little bit about the British pound because the British pound is uh, the uh, the vogue currency in play now, mainly because of the uh, uh, Brexit potential that's out there. So we'll need to watch that. And also, before we get to the British pound, we need to talk about the stock market because something big happened yesterday and something big happened yesterday. And then we'll take a quick look at the rest of them as we go through, starting with the British pound. But the first thing we'll look at when we get back will be the stock market through the eyes of the NASDAQ. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, folks, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. This is uh, where we were on uh, Friday. You'll notice that we were hanging there at that 75% retracement, which is not one of the numbers that we use for sacred geometry. We use basically the Fibonacci sequence, 618786, uh, retracting, and 1.27, 1 1.618, expansing. Nothing new. Don't want to teach you how to suck eggs on that one. But if you look at this NASDAQ, you'll see that the big ABCD pattern that we made down there on December 24th, and we've, we've gone over this so many times, it's really not necessary. But the one that you really need to do is what happened yesterday, folks, because it was very, very important. And this is going to be the whole gamilla in the stock market based on pattern recognition. You'll notice that we had that level uh, of 7,200. We went down to 7,000, and we immediately rallied 288 points uh, up to the exact 78% level. And uh, this is really important, folks. Closing strong today. And I'll repeat this one more time. Closing strong today in the NASDAQ sets up an easy attempt to get uh, above the uh, old highs at 7,700. So the key today is, or tomorrow, either day, of course, because uh, if we do close lower, that double, t that um, um, head and shoulders pattern that we looked at in the uh, composite is still absolutely perfect. But if, in fact, we close really strongly today or tomorrow in the NASDAQ, I'm talking above the 7,300 level, this long-term, uh, you'll notice here, let's just get it up here so you can see it. Here's where we came in on Sunday. We had made that top, and what we've done now is we have reversed that big downtrend day right there. We've reversed that, and now we went right back uh, to that level again. So keep an eye on it because it's very, very important, uh, this uh, close that we have today and tomorrow in the NASDAQ. Below this high of 7,300, uh, tells us that we're going to be moving a little bit higher. Uh, Marshall's asking, is uh, is it a good time to buy Boeing? 
Well, Marshall, all I can tell you is it's much better to buy it today than it was about a week ago because it's on sale right now. Uh, whether these planes are, you know, that's all about uh, politics is my opinion, but I don't want to go there. But it's certainly look. Just my, hey, Marshall. Let's look at the pri, look. Look at the chart. Let's take a quick look at Boeing. Let's let's just do this together. This would be some fun. We don't get to do this very often here because I'm always here flapping my gums. And if we take a look here at the uh, uh, chart of Boeing, oh, it's had a tiny bit of a sell-off. Well, hey, we're right back into the gap area. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's just take a quick look here and see where we are. Uh, let's look at the 61% retracement coming off the bottom. Uh, we've actually right at the 50% level right now. And let's just get up here and take a look at it. Actually, it looks like it's made some type of a of a bottom in here, folks. Uh, we got down as low as 363. We're $14 higher. Uh, we did go lower than the day on Monday. So this is most probably a buy, a buy. And we went right back to the old highs where the gap was. So we filled the gap in Boeing. Okay. And... Uh, you know, it's uh, certainly look at the three drive to a bottom pattern that we had back on December 24th. I mean, that was doing what the rest of the market was doing. So that's a, you know, it's in a really strong support zone. You got a $377 stock. The low was 363. You only have to risk 4% to see if you're right. So it's probably, uh, you know, I'm not particularly going to buy this one because of that big gap down. And uh, that, that's what scares me, and I don't trade stocks, but uh, that that's what would scare me on this chart was that big gap down. And I wouldn't expect any more than a 382 rally, and that, that, would, that would come in right around uh, 400 into that gap area. So I, I, wouldn't, touch, I wouldn't touch it here. That's uh, basically uh, what I'm looking at here. Let's keep a look at it. It's down uh, $3 this morning where Mr. Gator told us that, so – that means it's trading at around 374. So I, I wouldn't touch it. It's just not. Uh, it's just not worth the effort, in my opinion. I want to move over here to the British pound here, folks, because uh, we've had uh, a couple of of uh, inquiries about this because of what's going on with Brexit. And let's take a look at this British pound here on a long-term basis. We're going to go back. Uh, five years back into 2015. Let's just look at where we were in 2015. You see, we had that really strong market that rallied up. We went from 146 in the British pound up to 158, 12 handles. You'll notice that the equal rally that we had back on June uh, of 2016, where Brexit was occurring, exactly the same amount of the rally. We rallied another 14 points right into that, which was a 61% retracement from the high back on 2015. And, of course, you see there was a tiny bit of a sell-off from that level when we went from uh, the 150 level spot on all the way down to the uh, 119 level where we made some type of a bottom. Now, let's, let's walk through this because this is, I think, relatively important because we could be looking at the same scenario here in the British pound that we're looking at in the gold. You'll notice that after the bottom was made, You'll see that bottom is very similar to what we made in gold just recently at 1281. And then you see the ABCD structure starting to form. Well, if these hold at that 1290 level in the gold, you could be looking at this same type of pattern. So you'll notice the market goes up during 2017 and 2018 in beautiful ABCD format. You have three of them there. They line up right at the 78% level that came in at the uh, 143 level, 143.70, I believe. And um, you'll notice that once we got, it was actually 143.91, and uh, that was the 78% level from the Brexit high. You'll notice that it was also a double top. We double topped in July, and it happened again to us in April. You'll see there in the British pound. And from there, you come all the way down to make a 78% level retracement down at the bottom there at 124.65. We pointed this out probably half a dozen times, if not more. But anyway, you'll notice that after the bottom was made, and also it was a double bottom there at 124.70, you started to have a little bit of rally, and the market broke that dark black down trend line. You see that trend line that's going down there? That's just nothing more than a natural valid trend line. A valid trend line is a trend line that's based on Fibonacci numbers. So the market comes down, rallies back to touch the trend line, which is usually 618 or 786, and goes down, makes a new low, 
And you'll see what happens once you break above that trend line, then it comes back and touches it at the 61% retracement. That's that black line. You'll see the 61% retracement there. Bada bing, bada boom, folks. That's a 20-man line. Jim Twentyman, you know, did a whole lot of work with W.D. Gann over the years. And uh, well, the one thing that he found with these lines, they have a tendency to go back and test these lines. This particular one acts like a fulcrum. In other words, it acts like, uh, you know, when you're on a teeter-totter and you drop something really hard on one end, it takes off on the other end. That's what we're possibly looking at here in the uh, the British pound. Now, from the upside, if we start this, and this is really a bull market, the next upside potential here will be right at 135. We're trading at 132.87, so we're roughly 200 pips away from that level. And believe me, if anything happens exciting on Brexit, uh, on the 29th of uh, March, uh, the, it'll get there very, very quickly, folks. Uh, that's nearly the bottom line of what we're seeing here in the British pound. So that's the skinny on the mini. So we want to watch this very, very closely at that 135 level if we get there. And not only that, and not only that, it will be that same equal rally that we had way back in 2015, 2016. So we need to watch that too. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're going to take a look here at lean hogs. You'll see that the June hogs got down to that 78% level. 
uh, just about oh, two weeks ago. A beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern also completing at that spot. We've had a really strong rally now, folks. So this trade, if you're in this, you should be really uh, liquidating uh, most of it or at least raising your stop up to a very, very tight level. I would suggest mainly 78, but frankly, we exited it uh, yesterday. And uh, we're just waiting to see what the next thing would, would we would be buying. Now, one of the reasons that we did, you notice we had that really strong move, and we went right up to that 61% retracement twice. And for us, that's uh, that's a pretty good indication that maybe we're ready for a little bit of a pullback to the downside, especially after the nice eight- or nine-day run that we've had uh, in that. So I think that's relatively um, important to keep a close eye on that one because on the pullback, and if we do get the pullback, you'd be looking at trading in the direction of that uh, longer-term trend. That 786 would be a tremendous bottom, and we want to be watching it uh, uh, very, very closely. We've had a request here to take a look at Bitcoin. I want to bring it up here because we've been going sideways after hitting that uh, beautiful Gartley pattern on the downside. Uh, that was a perfect 78% level down there at 3,300. We rallied up to the 78% level, which was 41.50, then down into the 61% retracement there at 38.50, and now we're trading around 3,900. This morning we've been going sideways here for six days. So that is not a bearish pattern, folks. And you notice that dark line that you see there going from the high way back in December and ending down there at 3,600. That's also that 20 minute line that can act as a fulcrum, and it's certainly that way. If we get above the 4,200 level, the next level would be $5,000 a share. And, um, you know, as we know, this thing moves around uh, a lot. As we've said many, many times, we have never done a trade in a cryptocurrency, not one single one. And all we're doing is watching it because it could be the vogue. It's not all about Chris, um, cryptocurrencies. It's about the blockchain technology. And that's why I think it is, uh, you know, relatively important. So play, pay sort of close attention to that. Now, someone's had a question about the gold. There's been a, a chart that's uh, out on the Internet that uh, comes from uh, – uh, Optima, which is a, uh, I believe it's a uh, option trading thing, and it's it's a relationship between gold and the uh, S and P 500. We'll get this up here and let you take a look at it. You make your own determinations. You can see the patterns that are there, uh, but you can see the S and P 500 going down into that December low. That's when gold topped. So if the stock market is really getting ready to rally from here, that means gold is getting ready to go down. And we're going to know that in the next few days. Folks, I don't trade intermarket relationships like this. They don't mean anything to me because they're too hard for me to understand. And they shift and have lots of you know inversions as you go through. Because if you're, if you're going to do some trading and you're going to use pattern recognition, remember the most important thing to remember is that bar chart that you see on that candlestick is the sum total of all the buyers and sellers that are out there, boys and girls. So if prices are going up, there's more buying. If prices are going down, there's more selling. If you remember back when the market was getting hammered 600 points a day, Tesla was up that day. If you remember uh, with the market down and there were 90% uh, of the issues on the stock market were down, son of a gun, guess what happened? Netflix was up six points on that day. And, of course, when the market turned the next day, you know, Netflix gapped up and ended up being one of the stronger rallying. So watch what the prices are doing. If prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. That's the sum total of all the supply, de uh, inf supply demand in information that you know because that's real money crossing the tape. And the one thing to remember about these folks that are out there trading against us, folks, they can give us misinformation. They can lie to us. They can issue reports. They can be on the television telling you one thing. But the one thing they can't do is they can't hide from you. Because if they're buying, prices will go up. If they're selling, prices will go down. We've seen this in Enron, you know, WorldCom. We've seen it in so many things. So watch that. That's very important to remember. And remember, when these reports come out, whether it's a GDP, non-farm payroll, and it's extremely bullish, and the market doesn't react to that, the market's giving you a lot of information there. And we try to bring it to your attention, but, you know, you can't be everywhere to everyone. So you've got to learn to, you know, defy human nature, as Jim Twentyman 
Robinson says, and do the work yourself and take responsibility for it because you're the one that get the accolades if you book a nice profit and you're the one that has to take the heat if you take a loss. And that's the bottom line. Nothing any more simple than that, folks. Keep in mind it's uh it is quite that simple, actually, because it's really uh, it's it's not that hard. I mean, you got some patterns to look at, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, of course. But uh, they work they work more than they fail, and that's the that's the key to uh, really uh, really looking at it. Uh, okay, here we're talking a little bit about oh the treasury bonds. Mr. Z is asking a question about the treasury bonds. I uh, you know I, the treasury bonds you know hey. There's nobody on this planet that's more bearish than I am in long-term treasury bonds. But if you take a look at this, take a look at this chart because this is where we're trading right now. This is the 30-year bond uh, over the past uh, nine months. That that's a head and shoulders pattern, boys and girls. Look at that. You got your left shoulder in May. You got your head in October. You got your right shoulder in March. Uh, just 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 uh, top, tap there just about four or five days ago, and it was at a 382 retracement. Hello, ABCD. We know what that is. Gartley said, buy the first ABCD pattern in a bull market. If that's a bull market, that's the first ABCD. We've been as high as uh, 146.18. We're trading right now at around the 145.29 level, but uh, if we get anywhere near above that 148 level you're looking at a possible 156 and and even with this folks even with this move like this 156 you would be nothing more than a 61 percent retracement of the whole move down from three years ago when we topped at 177 so that's a possibility of making that hey i've been bearish bonds a long time but when they stop there with that head and shoulders pattern you, you've got to respect that you know, and not only that, but the right shoulder, look how much higher it is than the left shoulder. That's not bearish. So, you know, if it goes below 143, it's all bullpucky because right now it's uh, it's acting the way that it should. But if we do get below 143, this head and shoulders pattern is kaput. And that pattern for the ABCD pattern at the 3A2 is kaput also. So uh, that's the key level to look at. That's... That's all I know, and that's all I'm going to say, because what it is is what it shall be, and what it shall be is what it is. Bob up in uh, Washington is asking, any change in uh, corn and wheat? Well, of course, wheat had the big bottom. You know, We talked about that on Monday. Uh, had It's rallied over 30 cents. It pulled back to a 61% retracement, looking pretty good. I spoke with Simon Lee of Silvius Financial yesterday, the big grain hedger, and he says he's hearing uh, the drums beating across the Asian continent from China that they're beginning to start to buy corn now. So whether that's going to be the case or not, there's been a virtually a dead cat, well, not even a dead cat bounce in the corn and wheat, but they are starting to look at Folks, we're in the planting situation now. Uh, well, they can't plant now because there's still snow on the ground or it's too wet. But as we get into the planting, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of changes in these grains, so we need to watch it closely. But right now, I see nothing to do in the corn. Uh, watch wheat on a pullback. That might be a good buy. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. 
Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at the U.S. dollar index. Uh, you'll notice last week we were talking about the potential for that double top to be there. Uh, we did take the high out by just a little bit on that left-hand uh, top there, which means uh, there were just a few stops there. It was telling you a lot of supply coming in. We had a pretty good correction this week so far, one more day to go. But that is a double top, and it's very important because remember on the long-term weekly chart, on that dollar index that it did take out the uh, the high of the head and shoulders pattern this is uh, what we're watching here remember what we were talking about with that um, treasury bond here's what it looks like on the long term weekly on the euro you'll see he had a beautiful head and shoulders pattern back there uh, in November, this is a weekly chart, of course. We took out those highs by just a little bit in that dollar index. Didn't go anywhere, but we took out the highs, and that negates that head and shoulders pattern. So that means this could be uh, changing to bullish, and uh, we're watching it closely, of course. But we did get up to the, the perfect 61% retracement in the euro last night, up at that 1.1354 level. Uh, I'm not sure where we're trading this morning because I've been busy, you know, working on the show. Let's just check some of these patterns. We're trading at, uh, well, we're trading at the same price, 132. Well, we came all the way down to 133.02. We got up to 113.40, came down to uh, 95. We're trading at 133.02 right now. So uh, take a quick look at that, and you'll see that uh, it's got a potential here to start to sell off. We've already made the 382 of that move, so this is another other one that looks pretty interesting. The gold still hanging here at around the 1293 level. The low so far has been uh, 1292.50. But if we get below that uh, 1290 level, folks, that is not going to be bullish for gold that we've already that we've already mentioned. So keep a keep a close eye on that. Now, uh, my friend Byron Tucker sent some really interesting things that uh, we always uh, like to hear Basil talk. Uh, Basil. Uh, Chapman talk about you know the different things that happen in the world and how skyscrapers are built at certain times. But uh, uh, Byron sent some really interesting statistics on millionaires, and so I'll share them with you quickly here because I think it's it's uh, worth a little bit. You'll notice here uh, these are the different countries in the world where the high individuals have net worth. You can see the United States leads everybody by a long shot, and then you notice here on the other side this is where. The combined wealth of the high net worth individuals is, is moving the fastest. Now, you've got about uh, 20 countries there, folks. There's only one country on there that I have not uh, 
visited, and I'll tell you, uh, I'm not going to go there, and that is Bangladesh. Anyway, that's one of the things that uh, you look at is, you know, what's happening with, you know, assets and, you know, things like that, because it's real interesting to see what's happening. Here's another one that he sent, uh, one of these trend-setting things, and if you look at this here, well, we'll notice here that you've got the, uh, uh, the America's love affair with plastic surgery. You can see the growth pattern in that. So a lot of extra money out there floating around, and they're going to try to find a way to spend it. That's the way it looks from uh, the cheap seats here out in the desert where it was snowing yesterday and a balmy 57 degrees, folks. This is very, very cold for our area, so we want to be, get a little bit of that wind chill factor out of here. The storms are leaving today, and it's starting to warm up a little bit, but it's been very cold and rainy and snowy here over the past couple of days. I know you don't care that that's uh, what's going on here, but uh, when you get up in the morning and you walk outside and there's frost on the pumpkin, you got to be able to uh, uh, change your your strategy for the day. Okay, we've had a question uh, about the uh, Japanese yen. I want to get that one up here because we're in the same situation where we hit some major, major areas of resistance up here near that 112 level. We backed off a little bit so far this week. We've been that real narrow trading range, but not able to back off is actually a positive sign for it. Any close above that 112.50 level would send this thing moving uh, rapidly to the upside. You'll notice that big spike back on January 3rd. That's the bank robbery done by the uh, Tokyo banks. As the market was closing down in New York, they came in and really hammered everything. I mean, there was virtually no liquidity in there. And uh, believe me, when you see the market drop, you know, like, uh, you know, five points in the Japanese yen and it comes back quickly, that's not a normal market, folks. That's for sure. Uh, someone's asking a question about uh, uh, display on, on a uh, rebuy in the euro. Yeah, let's take a look at that, Mr. Z. That's a good idea. We were we were discussing that uh, just the other just a little bit uh, a little while ago. Let's just pull this up and we'll just get this, and you'll see that we've been ratcheting up ever since that bottom was made. Let's get it over here. Uh, there we go, right here. And you're going to be seeing. Yep, yeah, there we go. It should be easy to look at. We're right at major support. Here's where we are. We'll take a look at this. We've gone from uh, 111.75 all the way up to 113.40, 170 points. The 382 retracement on that whole move down, folks, from high to low or from low to high comes in at 112.70. That's where I would be watching it very, very closely. Um, that would be two harmonic numbers down. But frankly, where we are right now is really strong support because on the way down, on the uh, you can see we had that big move down on the this, uh, 14th of March. But since that time, all the corrections, uh, the most corrections have been around 40 points. Well, this is uh, this is where we're sitting right now. We went from 113.40 down to uh, 112.90. So we've made that 40-point correction. It was right at a 50% retracement of the low of the 12th and 38% from the low on the 14th. So that's really strong support at 12.90 in the uh, – in the end, so uh, any move of and folks, I'm bullish. I'm bullish the euro. Sorry, folks, I'm bullish the euro. It's acted very, very well, and you'll notice that that was an A B C D pattern that formed here over the past uh, 24 hours. So that's a that's a pretty support, pretty good support there. Now it might not last very long, but that's what we're watching as we uh, see some of these things coming together here. Uh, someone's asking me the question is what data feed is this? The data feed that I use for Ensign software is with the uh, it's e-signal data feed. I get a, uh, a special rate being a uh, uh, educator, so I uh, watch that. But the really the really if you're going to be you know look at these markets seriously, you really need to look at CQG, which is Commodity Code Graphics. I know they're they're prohibitive on their cost, but uh, uh, you get you don't have any bad ticks. You don't see any bad ticks on your charts, and it comes in faster. They've just developed logarithms that make it easier to handle data. Uh, Tim, the guy that owns it, was uh, <laughs> so far ahead of the curve on that that it was really uh, how he built uh, it up. But that that's the real standard in our business is the data from CQG. But for trading purposes, uh, eSignal, which is now owned by uh, – interactive brokers they do give you some pretty good uh, they resell that to a lot of other people too so when you're seeing e-signal prices it's always coming from somebody else because they're buying the data 
from someone else and then turning it back into you folks making a couple bucks. But, you know, considering you, all the data that you get for the price you get it for is actually, you know, not a bad deal. And for trading purposes, it's just fine. It really is. I, you know, I've been pragmatically checking it out over many, many years, but that's what it looks like right here. But anytime that I have a problem with data, the first phone call I make is over to Morrow Bay, California to Mr. Jimmy Twentyman because Jimmy helped build that software for uh, CQG. He lived in Denver for four years and actually traded Tim's account. So Jimmy knows data. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've been asked to take a quick look here at the coffee one more time. You looked at it two days ago when it was down there at that 95 level. That was the 1.27 expansion to the downside. We also pointed out to you that there was a possibility, and actually a strong possibility, that we could get down to the 93.50 level. Right now, we're trading above 9,800 in the coffee, uh, getting ready to take out the highs of uh, Tuesday, and that would be a, what we would think would be a positive sign. But uh, I still think you have to keep your powder dry 
to see if you get down to that 1.618 level at 9350 because that's a that's a very very important remember when we got down to that 1.618 level back on February 24th we were buying it there at 97 it went from 97 up to 101 that was a four handle move in uh, four days and then of course it reversed uh, fortunately you know you raise your stop because when you're 400 points ahead in something folks in coffee that's well over $1,500 you certainly don't want Want to keep your stop uh, at break even because now you're that four hundred dollars, that fifteen hundred dollars is in your account. That equity run shows you that that coffee that you own has made you that kind of money. So you, you're going to have to give some of it back. You don't have to give all of it back. So remember, your first mistake teaches. Your second mistake kills, and the reason why it kills is you don't take care of it right away. The difference between the neophyte trader and the trader that is been around for a long time is when they recognize mistakes, they take care of them just as quickly as you possibly can. Remember the quote from Amos Hostetter, take care of your losses because your profits will take care of themselves. And they do. Focus on the risk side of the risk reward equation and you're going to be far, far better. Think in terms like a winner. A winner thinks, how much money can I lose? A loser thinks, how much money can I win? And that's why we see Las Vegas with all those big flashing signs of the three sevens and the Kino games and the big jackpots for slot machines. Folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless, and I'll see you on the flip side.